Okay, real quick, uh, this is a reading for when Jung began the Nietzsche seminar about Zarathustra. It was about five years, 34 through 39. So, this is Jung's chart, and that's when he started. So, what's interesting is that both Jung and Nietzsche have Saturn in Aquarius. See, so that's Nietzsche, and that's Jung. So, 1934, they're both technically having a Saturn return, if Nietzsche was alive. And Uranus was in Aries, just like when Nietzsche was born, so... Nietzsche would also have been, be having a Uranus return. So those two huge archetypes, Saturn and Uranus, are the exact placements when Nietzsche was born, uh, when Jung began this analysis. And Jupiter is in Libra at that time, and Jung was born with Jupiter in Libra, so he's having a, a Jupiter return. And that Uranus on the Aries-Taurus cusp is about to conjunct every single placement that Jung has in Taurus, which is, you know, all these three planets. So we'll be having a Uranus conjunct Neptune, Moon, Pluto transit, during these five years. Um, let's see what else. Also the year of the dog, 34 is the year of reflection. So, a very good time to reflect on the meaning of things. But anyway, this last chart right here is the very last uh, month in which he began to write to finish the Zarathustra critique. And what's interesting is that 1939, February, <laughs> is the, the archetype of Aquarius Rabbit, which is me. So. It's not only Aquarius Rabbit, but Venus is in Capricorn, like when I was born, and uh, Jupiter is in Pisces, like when I was born. So Jupiter in Pisces means Nietzsche is having a, a Jupiter return, and Mars in Sagittarius means Young's having a Mars return, because that's what he was born with. Um, so yeah, uh, this, this whole five-year cycle um, really ties into the archetypes of all these similarities. That once again involved me, you know, la-di-da.